So vacuum forming an oven, 450 degrees, a clay mold on top of pegboard connected via a hose, shop vac, and a sheet of plastic stapled to a wooden frame. Bake at 450 degrees. Okay, bake till it sags in the middle, which is just about now. Okay, here we go. No, other way. Other way. Put it over. Okay, turn around. And there is a vacuum formed car body. This is a machine called Rep Rack. Uh, it's an older version, older version than what we built yesterday. Um, the later version is very much similar, but it's bigger. As you can tell, these parts are 3D printed as well. So once you print, I mean, once you build this machine, you can start printing the parts for the next one. And these um, parts are standard parts that you can order from like McMaster's or uh, Home uh, Home Depot, Radio Shacks. These motors are you know widely available online. So you can start assembling on your own. The rep wrap, the name itself, comes from the fact that it self replicates itself more or less. Um, it has a four axis. X, Y, Z meaning the B and the three, right? X, Y, and Z, typically. The fourth being in the rotation. So this gives you a lot more flexibility in terms of navigating something really intricate. X, Y, Z only gives you a direct angle straight on into the but having the capacity to rotate the material, you can do fine, fine details like this.